Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with CampGear.tv, and today we're doing a burn test with the Vargo Titanium Hexagon Wood Stove. Uh, 500 mils of water at um, ambient temperature, which is about uh, 15 degrees today. And uh, we have our metal canteen here. So first things first, I'll pull the stove out here so we can have a quick look at it. I have uh, two titanium tent spikes that I uh, put in there. They fit nicely um, between the bottom of the stove here and the uh, sidewall pieces. So pull it out. So you can see um, it's had a couple burns in it. It's kind of sooty. Uh, but you can also see uh, a bit of a patina in here. And that's actually from um, burning an alcohol stove uh, using this thing as the windscreen pot stand. Part of the reason I bought this thing at 50 bucks is a bit of an investment. Um, but part of the reason I bought it is so that I can actually use it as a windshield and pot stand for my alcohol stoves when I'm traveling. So I'm going to uh, build up a little bit of a fire in here using just some dryer lint that I, that I saved. Uh, some smaller sticks to actually get the thing started and then we have some um, some bigger stuff over here that we'll just break up and put in as we go so I will uh, I'll come back after we actually have the fire built alright so we have, here we have our first stage um, basically just a bunch of little kindling uh, anything that uh, snaps easily is gonna anything like this just a lot of little small things that we just kinda put in there and built an A-frame now I'm gonna put in uh, some slightly bigger stuff um, this is probably about the thickness of a pencil uh, that one's no good. But anyway, I'll build up a uh, slightly bigger A-frame and then we'll check back when we're actually ready to light this thing. Okay, so now we have our A-frame fire built. Uh, put some slightly larger sticks in, uh, about a little bit more than the width of a pencil, um, just around the outside here. So we want to try and make sure we keep uh, a lot of air going through the thing. Uh, make sure we have a, obviously a hole that we need in order to light the thing. So I'll just keep, uh, as the thing starts actually catching, oh, it fell apart a little bit, hopefully it'll still continue to burn. Um, as things start to catch, I'll just start throwing in a little bit more stuff, uh, a little bit of tinder, but um, mostly some, some bigger pieces of wood that we can actually get a bit of a fire going here. Some of this dry stuff here, hopefully, it's going to keep going. Some of this wood is a little bit wet, but hopefully we'll be able to get a fire going here. Obviously it's important to uh, keep a lot of air going through the thing. It's a little fiddly trying to get the fire actually started in here, but once it, uh, once it gets going, all we really need to do is um, feed it a little bit of wood every every five or maybe ten minutes. Um, realistically every five minutes just kind of keep it going. It's already it's already feeling nice and hot here so I'm going to uh, check out once we actually have the fire going. Got some nice embers happening in the bottom here. We'll stoke it with uh, some more um, larger wood and we'll, uh, we'll actually put our um, canteen on the top. Alright so we got a nice little fire going here. Um, it's burning reasonably hot see here. So what we're going to do, take our tent spikes, rest them across in these little channels here, make sure it's nice and balanced, close the door. We can actually uh, close or open this door depending how everything's going uh, in order to um, uh, let a little bit more air into the fire. So I'm going to uh, find my stopwatch here. Stopwatch and timer. There it is. Alright, I'm going to start. Start the timer and place the canteen on top here. So we'll check uh, we'll check in um, occasionally with the process. Usually takes about 12 minutes to get a full boil. Uh, maybe 15 really depends on the uh, conditions. But anyway, we'll leave the fire going for a little while and uh, check back in as things actually start to happen. But immediately you can see a lot of the uh, a lot of the smut and, and soot really collecting on the bottom of the um, the canteen here. Uh, so you're not going to want to use your um, your best cooking pots with this. Uh, really is obviously better to have um, some, some stuff dedicated to uh, to this kind of cooking. Um, but yeah, we'll check back in and see how everything goes. Alright, we're back here at about the five minute mark. Um, fire's going pretty well. 
largely unattended burn. I did throw a couple of a uh, couple of little sticks in there at about the two three minute mark. Anything that's about this size, you just kind of toss in there. Try not to damp the fire down too much. And um, from this point on, it should be largely uh, unmonitored. Just kind of throw stuff in there now. Make sure we got enough fuel to keep this thing going. Check in every uh, every five minutes or so just to make sure everything's running nicely. But we're at about the just past the six minute mark. We have some noises happening, but not much else. Um, just get this wood in here and stoke the thing. So it is a nice hot fire, but you really can't see the uh, the marks that are happening on the canteen. Um, so you can get the top off here. Have a quick look inside. So there's a little bit of heat haze happening, but uh, not much else. Got some bubbles starting to form on the bottom. But uh, like I say, probably about a 12 minute process to actually get a burn or a proper full rolling boil going. Um, so we'll continue to check in um, as things start to happen. All right, we're back here just coming up on 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, we got the first uh, first stages of a boil happening. Take off the lid here. You can hear it uh, starting. If you can see it in among the smoke, so there's actually some steam coming out of the thing now. You can see uh, starting to happen in there. Looks like we'll probably be boiling in about maybe 14 minutes, but we'll check back once we actually get a boil going. All right, at uh, 15 and 30, we're just coming up what really sounds like a boil. I did uh, throw a couple more sticks in there uh, since we last checked in. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we have a rolling boil. So not bad. I think if I was waiting that long for my first morning coffee, I might be a little upset. Like I said, the reason I bought this thing is so that I can actually use it as a pot stand here and a windshield for my alcohol burning stoves, which we'll show you in another episode. Um, yeah, check out campgear.tv for more great reviews of uh, outdoor gear. And uh, until then, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin signing off. Thanks for watching.